Hello guys and welcome yourselves back to the Feed the Beast Monster series with me Bashful Brit. As you can tell we are not in the usual game as we normally are with the third person view looking at my beautiful character's face. No, we're at the multiplayer login screen. Uh, we haven't connected to the server yet. I got a message from Clip Addict uh, last night. Um, it was very vague. It just said, couldn't resist, hit record. So I don't know what's waiting. Uh, he said it the other day as well and I logged on. I didn't hit record because it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. I didn't want to wake my housemates up by recording a video. Uh, but he's told and basically, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, Jerry basically escaped. Um, and Clip had it was around to catch him and caught him and put him in a chest for me. So fantastic we got to keep him. Um, but no, he's messaged me last night, this morning, while I was on my way to work, I read it and I was like, oh dear god, what have you done? So I don't know yet, um, this is my first time joining the server, so we're going to be logging in right now and see what he's on about. I don't think it's going to be anything too big because he doesn't go big, he'll leave like little presents or stuff like that. Um, Sean or... Uh, PSN Gigabyte is running around by our place as well currently. So there's some stuff from there. We've got some chunk rendering issues here. Don't know what's going on with the frame rate. Right, okay, so there's that there. I'm going to assume it's upstairs. Um, oh my dear god. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, what has he done? Oh, this is, this is amazing. Ah, right. <gasps> He's even more than it. Oh, oh my God. This is so cool. <laughs> I 100% did not expect this, but this is the best thing that is, ah, oh, I, I absolutely love Clip Addict. Like, he's even more than it. It's amazing, right? I need to get outside somehow. Um, I need to be able to see this. Let's just get out the front door. Oh, no way he's even glassed in here. What? Jesus Christ, he's gone all out on this one. Um, let's let's get our wand. We can black hole thingy ma jig jig up and see what the... Because there's a sign outside. I don't know what it says. I'm going to find out. So if we got that, and we got that, and we fly up. Oh, there's a butterfly outside. The wrath of the butterflies is upon you, clip addict. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Uh, so basically, this is the one that he found. He told me to hit record. Um, he said, found Joey, better keep care or else. <laughs> this is his warning to me. He's like, if you lose your butterflies again, you will feel the wrath of the butterflies. And I, I messaged and I was just like, oh no, it sounds terrifying. Not the wrath of the butterflies, and um, so obviously he's come on while I've been asleep uh, last night for work. <laughs> come into this, and um, this is the wrath of the butterflies, and I actually love it. Oh, that is the best thing ever. That is that has actually made my day. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Uh, it's definitely going to be titled the wrath of the butterflies, and so Sean is quite scaring me at the minute. There's a lot of heads around. Um, there's a head here. Um, there's another one here. I don't quite know what he's up to. There's still loads of butterflies around. I see you. There's even one on top of the cactus. What has gone on? I've been off the server for a day. Quick, up here. Oh my, oh my dear god, that thing has evolved. It's becoming like a transformer thing. Every time I come on the server, that thing is evolving and it's actually quite scaring me now. Um, he's using all creative to do this, obviously, but. Okay, this... right, let's see this. So th then we got our first little prank from Cliff Addict. Um, I didn't think he was going to go big. He seems to have gone quite big. I don't know how he got him in there, but dear God. Yeah, I know how he's done it. I 100% know how he's done it. What I reckon he's done 
is he's hooked himself up to my mob essence. Taken Joey, put it in a monster uh, mob spawner and then just spawn a load of butterflies while it's been glassed up. That's probably how he's done it. That's probably how I should have gone about catching butterflies, actually. I wish he put them downstairs, because that would have been awesome. Right. So, one day, I'll be a nuclear beer rocket. You'll see. Hope you're enjoying the evolution, Sean slash PSN. Um, so, I think Sean's actually watching my videos now. I didn't think he was before, but <laughs> I think he definitely is now, because he knows that I refer to him as PSN. Um, but yeah, so the last episode I think I showed you it was just like a beer can and a post and a head and now it is turned into <laughs> uh, six beer drums, these nice large fences from forestry and a nuclear reactor which I'm quite scared of, um, I'm really hoping he doesn't accidentally drop something in there, uh, let's see if he's done anything up here, so John Doe's house. I am dead. My name is John Doe. Love Frank. What the hell? Oh man, I've been off the server for a day and this this is just awesome. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that I want in like a community server. Small little pranks like that that actually you come on and just absolutely make your day. Um, oh well that is fantastic. I'm so happy I recorded this as soon as I got on. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyway, so we're back on the server. Let's do our little outro thing. Uh, it's going to be really dark because I've got shaders mod and it glitches this thing out. I normally take it off before I do an episode so I can do this and it looks fantastic. Uh, but no, it doesn't do that with the shaders mod on. Uh, but yeah, so we're back on the server. Uh, I know I've had a rough week. Um, content hasn't been as amazing as it could have been. Uh, I 100% know that and I 100% apologise again for it, uh, it's going to get a lot better. I haven't got anything planned for this episode, I sort of just got home from work about 10 minutes ago, made myself a drink, um, let's go back downstairs because we'll probably do some work and stuff down there. Um, so yeah, I've been home about 10 minutes. Got myself a drink, turned my computer on, sat down, oh one made it down, no it's glitching, just glitching. Um, so yeah, made myself a drink, sat down, chilled out like for five minutes, and then I was like, just record, let's get it, let's get into it. I was just like, I'm really, I was just really looking forward to recording. It feels like a while since I've done a proper recording, and I just like, I really miss it. Um, a lot of people are saying like, don't worry, take your days off and stuff and whatever, chill out, and I'm just like, no, but I don't want to, daily uploads. Um... And I don't just want to be throwing out daily uploads for throwing out daily uploads. I want them to be good for people. Um, it's more me kicking myself, if anything, about it. Because I know I can do better. I did great. In my, I think I did pretty fantastic in my week off. I thought my videos were pretty good. Um, I was really enjoying it. I had loads of stuff planned and stuff. It was awesome. And then since I've been back at work, I've just not had the energy. I've not had the time. And it's just been, oh, it's just been getting me down, really. But no, I'm back, it's Monday, um, I posted my little apology 10 minute short video yesterday. Um, so, oh no, I don't want to do that. Give me back them jars. Give them. No, who don't want dirt? Over a minute, plop and plop. Right, cool. I really should dump some stuff maybe. Right. Um, I know I gave you guys a quick little overview of this down here last week, but I think I'm going to go over it again just because. Uh, I don't think I went too in-depth. Oops, wrong one. This one. Haha. <laughs> I put flooring in and I finished the walls. I don't know if I did that last time. But yeah, it looks finished. It's, I don't know about this floor. I've really taken a liking to it, but I don't think it's going to go well with the green. Uh, green wall's probably not going to stay though, so we're going to do something fancy with that and make it look pretty. And make it look something interesting. Um, but I can't remember if I showed you how this is set up. I think I did a brief one about how the interface exports the items from there and just interface into an item duct. Item ducts into all grinders and stuff. So it's just set up for grinding and smelting at the minute. You casual ore stuff because I had stuff coming in from quarries. 
it's just sitting there and I was just like, no, we need to be grinded up. So I think like, yeah, 143k iron now. So we're doing that fantastic core on that one. And then I started trying to name like, if you see here, I started naming the test rack. Some of them I forgot to do, so I've got to go around and do that just so that it's all going to be neat and organized. I haven't got to put signs up everywhere. And you're going to know what everything is just by hovering over it. So that should all work. I think this is still linked. We've definitely got to go back to that spawn town, and I'm going to do some more work on that. I'll probably do that in... I'm going to do that tonight. I'll do some like little video bits, and I'll do some editing. I'll do some speedy up bits and stuff like that. What the dickens? I don't know what the dickens that means. Music box, frick knows. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do that. In, I'll probably do that tonight. Do some little speedy up thing. It's been a while since I've done. Ah, oh, my god, the wrath of the butterflies. No, not the wrath of the butterflies. This is an episode 18. I don't know what episode we're on, but we're going to say it's 22 because I think that's what it is. Look at it. To-do list. Still nothing on it. To-do list. Hang on. Right, watch this. To-do list. Right. Stuff on. To-do. To-do list. And you're going to be on all the time. There you go. First thing on the to-do list is write stuff on the to-do list. Great start. We'll cross... We'll, right, game is, I'm going to write some stuff on here. We're going to cross one off every single episode. Um, and that way I'm going to try and make organized. Um, I'm going to remove the to-do list from where it currently resides. And we're going to go put it somewhere else. Um, I'm not sure where, but we're going to have like a big board somewhere else, just like not in the living room. I want to spruce the rest of this up. That table looks funky as hell. So we've got to fix that and stuff. And that's just, this is all going to go on a to-do list. And then we're going to add things on the to-do list. And then we're going to be like, do things in episodes. And then this is going to be like my episode plan. And it'll be next to my episode TV. But yeah, that's going to change. And this will move and I'll chuck it like outside and we'll have like a big board and stuff which we start the episode at every time i think that's going to be a pretty good idea should help us get pretty organized around here because it's getting a bit of a mess um i think i'm going to keep these butterflies that's a question for you guys actually uh i know you guys are all into the butterfly stuff and everyone loves the wrath of the butterflies i'm going to keep all these butterflies but where should i keep them because i don't want to keep them out there anymore um I don't know, I just feel like they deserve something better. Should I, like, I'm going to move these probably. I'm going to keep them, but I'm going to move them. Um, what I was initially thinking was having, like, terraforming this to make it, like, grassy with a couple of, like, custom-built trees and stuff. Put some hedges, a couple of flowers down here, nice bit of grass, and have some nice fancy lighting in here. And then what we'll do is we'll just like glass wall this off here and then this will lead into like some homely looking living quarters. Make it look like fancy, like quite nice. Uh, probably cut it like here where it's cut and then over here we're like, mm, I can't really move the smeltery can I? Well I can and then I can like put pipes and make it look like it extracts over there somewhere. Um, so the chimney thing still works. Need to add that chimney, that's going to be on the to-do list. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think, like, if I was to cut it here and just have, like, some glass or something like that and then have, like, a nice homely bit in here or make it look pretty and then just keep the spawning things in here and then have this pathway out here, would, the, would that look good? And then just have, like, grass and flowers and we can have the golems working around and have all the butterflies running around. And we'll close all this off and clean this up. Or we'll extend it out. We can even extend it out. We'll clean all this up. I remember how we had it before where this was what led out into the garden. We can still have that. We'll just have to dig out all of this again that <laughs> I've placed in there. It'd be worth it. I reckon it'd be worth it. And then just sort of do something or another with this. Or we leave it in the middle. <gasps> what we could do is we could have like this big bit is grass and like dig all back there and make that grass. And then we could place like a fountain thing over here to cover it up. And then you never be able to tell the ME, um, the Mac controller was there without us having to move it and be a pain in the ass. Because the thing is, if I am to move it, 
um, the containment wall will come and sit down here and I like the look of this like grated vent thing I also need to change that but I like the look of like the vent things behind the glass and once I sort this out and replace the glass it's gonna look fine that's the next one I gotta move uh, but yeah, if I clean this up, expand it out, we can have a fountain in the middle and then just have it with like grass and trees and then it can lead off and have like some piston doors, do some old redstone, old school redstone stuff, you use like nomads or use vanilla 3x3 three three piston door or something, make something really fancy and cool there and make it look awesome. But what what suggestions have you guys got for me? Like hit me up and let me know what you think, what we should do. Um, stuff like that uh, if you've got any tips or suggestions and I'll be like hey, it's a really good idea I'm gonna do that and then I'll go off and do it but yeah so I want to get you guys involved as much as I can on this you guys are like super super active in the comments I really love it I really love talking to you guys um, now I want to get you guys involved in the server um, I don't have the authority to open the server it's not my server to do so it's my friend who's whitelisted it um, so the decision all lies with him and he's just he's quite selective of who comes on here so I don't want people in the comments going let me join the server because it's not going to happen um, we're resetting soon anyway so there'd be no point even if the even if I could get you on here there's like literally no point whatsoever because you'd start up and then we would just reset in like two weeks so there's no point um, but I will save the world so we can come back even if we like Reset the server to something else. I'll keep it as a single-player world if you guys like the series and we'll like expand on this And I'll have it as like a building episode and we'll still run a bit of feed the beast monster until we sort of run out of things to do So don't worry when we reset the ser the series might not completely go But it might sort of drain off to like one or two episodes a week uh, But yeah, that's about it Um, so yeah, I'm quite liking the idea. I literally, like, I'd not thought of that before. I was just, like, sort of walking around here, like, what should we do with butterflies? And then I was like, mm, we could, like, make this into garden stuff, and it could look cool, and yeah. So hopefully that, that can be a thing, and we can do that, and it's going to look cool. And then it's just going to look good when we have it link off to Thorncraft, and we can have it link off to other sort of, like, environmental mob like mods like Thorncraft is quite magical it's no machines and stuff like that and it's all kind of like naturally kind of thing um, I want to sort of keep with that theme within here so we might have a couple of rooms coming off of it something like that I don't know see what tickles my fancy but that's gonna be it for the episode it's gonna be like a little short one I didn't really do anything short sort of showed you around caught up myself on the server as I didn't know stuff like that was happening uh, so yeah, we've all caught up on the server now. Uh, we're going to be going back to normal episodes. Going to be doing like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, another, that's another question for you guys. Do you prefer like the 15, like 20, 25 minute episodes? Or do you prefer like the 10, 15 ones? Um, which is better for you? Do you prefer like watching me play for a while? Do some stuff on camera with you guys and chat? Or do you prefer the short ones where I cut it and edit and stuff like that? And just show you progress and stuff that I do. Um, let me know down in the comments below and like I said, let me know what you think I should do with the butterflies in this area uh, If you've got any suggestions of your own, I'm definitely going to transform this into like garden Mystical area now because I really do like it and this is too industrious for me Like down here is fine. We got an industrious level. Let's just live with that because we need power We need storage. We need stuff like that and then this can be like our tech center um, So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do uh, but any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, it's fantastic to be back. A uh, huge thank you to all the support that I've been given. Uh, you guys have been great about it. Just been like, yeah, no worries. Take time off. Chill out. Come back with good videos. And I intend to. Like, I'm not going to stop my daily uploads because there's a chest in here. Hang on. Hang on. I think I might have looked in this one before and I don't think there's anything there. Why is there a chest in my ceiling? Oh, right, okay. Where the hell has you come from? Right, we'll sort that out another time. But yeah, you guys have been, like, great saying, like, just, like, chill out on that. And it, 
So thank you guys a lot for that. Um, I'm back now, back to normal, back to amazing episode as always. Um, so we should be back to normal, sort of happy, happiness, happiness level. But yeah, I had a bit of a rough week going back to work. Um, hopefully things are changing, things are getting sorted. I'm back. I'm not going to stop, so don't you guys ever think that. Don't ever be going there going, no, he's going to stop doing videos because I'm not. Um, I'm going to do this for as long as I can. And I hope you guys will put up with me. If not, then tough. <laughs> I'm still going to do it even if you guys don't vote with me because I absolutely love it. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been The Bashful Brit. It's going to be dark, so just live with it because I've got to turn the shaders off. And turning the shaders off means restarting it and just effort, effort. But yes, thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content like this. Uh, it's going to be getting better. We're going to be doing bigger things, bigger projects. We're going to have a to do list. And that's going to get us organized. So, woohoo! But yeah, so guys, like the video if you liked it. And I will see you in the next episode. I might do one tomorrow, do you a special. But yeah, we'll see how we feel. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. Whoosh.